Let's face it. Sinus infections are no fun. That stuffy head, pounding pain, endless congestion. It's enough to make anyone want to crawl back into bed and wait for it all to pass. But sometimes, waiting it out just isn't an option. Maybe you've got a big presentation at work or an event you can't miss. That's where antibiotics like doxycycline come in. But is this medication the cure? All solution for your sinus woes? Let's dive in and find out. Doxycycline is a type of antibiotic, specifically a tetracycline antibiotic. It's designed to put the brakes on bacterial infections in various parts of the body, including our sinuses. This medication disrupts the bacteria's ability to produce proteins, essentially slowing down or stopping their growth. Sinus infections or sinusitis can be caused by either bacteria or viruses. And that's important because antibiotics like doxycycline only target bacterial infections. So, if you have sinusitis, your doctor will need to determine if bacteria are the culprit. Doctors typically only prescribe doxycycline for sinus infections if your symptoms are severe, you haven't improved after a few days, you have a history of chronic sinus infection. So, you've got the green light to take doxycycline. What happens next? Well, this antibiotic takes some time to kick in fully. Even though it starts working right away, it might take a few days before you notice a major difference in your symptoms. Be patient, and remember completing the full course is crucial even if you start to feel better. Unfortunately, like many medications, doxycycline can come with a few side effects. The most common ones are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite. Let's talk about sun sensitivity. Doxycycline makes you more prone to sunburn, so remember your sunscreen and limit time in direct sunlight while taking it. In rare cases, more serious side effects can occur if you experience severe headaches, difficulty swallowing, or vision changes. Stop taking the medication and consult your doctor right away. There are definite upsides to using doxycycline. Broad spectrum power! This antibiotic can handle many different types of bacterial infections. It's helpful for sinus infections and conditions affecting the skin, lungs, and more. Proven effectiveness. Doxycycline packs a punch, particularly against those stubborn, hard-to-treat infections. Convenient options. Whether you prefer a capsule, liquid, or delayed, release tablet, doxycycline's got you covered. It wouldn't be fair to ignore the downsides of doxycycline. Potential cost concerns. Though generic, doxycycline has seen price fluctuations, making it less budget-friendly at times. Not for everyone. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid doxycycline. This medication can harm a developing fetus. Dairy dilemma. Yogurt, cheese, calcium, rich foods can mess with doxycycline's absorption. Timing is everything when taking this antibiotic. Sun sensitivity. Increased chance of sunburn exists. So sunscreen is a must. Rare, but serious. There's a small chance of liver damage when taking doxycycline. Your doctor might want to keep a close eye on your liver function. If you're exploring antibiotic options, amoxicillin often pops up as an alternative to doxycycline. So... Which one reigns supreme? Well, it's a bit complicated. Doxycycline is a broad-spectrum antibiotic. It can target a wider variety of bacteria. Amoxicillin is a narrower, spectrum antibiotic. This means it's more targeted against specific types of bacteria. Your doctor will choose the best antibiotic based on the likely culprit behind your sinus infection. Additionally, Factors like potential allergies and pregnancy will weigh into the decision. Sometimes side effects can be a real deal breaker, or you might experience a possible allergic reaction. If your doctor instructs you to stop taking doxycycline, always follow their advice. They'll help you explore other treatment options to get you on the road to recovery. For some unlucky folks, sinus infections are like unwanted guests that just won't leave. If doxycycline happens to be your most effective weapon against these recurring battles, your doctor may consider several things. 
extended treatment. A longer course of doxycycline might be prescribed to keep those pesky infections at bay. Higher dosage. There's the possibility of adjusting your dosage, but this is strictly under your doctor's supervision. Lifestyle adjustments. Your doctor might also recommend things like quitting smoking, using a humidifier, and other measures to reduce the frequency of your infections. Let's wrap up with some of the most common questions about doxycycline and sinus infections. Can everyone take doxycycline for a sinus infection? No, it's not suitable for children under eight, pregnant, or breastfeeding women and individuals with certain health conditions. Your doctor is the best person to determine if doxycycline is right for you, how long until I feel better after taking doxycycline? Though it starts working quickly, you might not notice a significant improvement for a couple of days. Remember, patience is key. I have leftover doxycycline from a previous infection. Can I use it for my current sinus infection? Absolutely not. Expired or leftover antibiotics can be ineffective or even harmful. Always get a fresh prescription from your doctor. Well, folks, that was a deep dive into the world of doxycycline and sinus infections. Hopefully, you now feel armed with knowledge when discussing treatments with your doctor. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any further questions about doxycycline. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative health content. And as always, stay healthy.